Hey, what's up guys? Kurt Abel here from Toucans Media with another episode of Toucans TV. And if you follow internet marketing at all, one thing that you hear a lot about is content. And with good reason. Content needs to be the center of everything that we do in internet marketing. At the very least, you should have a blog and a Facebook page and a Twitter account and a Google Plus page. And all these properties, they need content. And not just any content, they need juicy content that your readers will want to like and comment on and share with their friends. And I know this is the point where most business owners, their eyes glaze over, they get overwhelmed, and then their blog and their social properties sit vacant for years on end. Well, that's going to stop today because today we're going to talk about five easy blog ideas. Okay, so coming in at number five on our list is the client spotlight. All you need for this one is to find a happy client, send them an email with a few questions on it, have them answer the email, and then you copy and paste it into a blog post and you're done. Super easy. But don't underestimate the power of having somebody else sell your product or service for you. And an expert tip for this one is to ask the person that you're profiling for a picture. That way your blog post seems a little bit more personal and your readers are more likely to believe it. Okay, coming in at number four on our list is the product spotlight or the tutorial, depending on whether your product or service based. If you're product based, introduce your readers to one of your product's unique features. And if you're service based, do a tutorial teaching your readers how to do something it is that you do. Either way, you're writing about something that you already know about and you come off looking like an expert. And an expert tip for this one is, if you're comfortable getting in front of the camera, shoot a video. Sometimes it's faster and it's a better way to build a relationship with your, with your readers. Coming in at number three on the list is the ever popular, this is who we are post. And this usually takes one of three forms. It can be writing about a community event, it can be writing about um, a cause that you support, or it can be a, an employee spotlight. Any of these three will allow you to make your business seem more personal, to let readers get to know your values a little bit, and that's super powerful And because people like to uh, do business with companies that have uh, similar values. Now an expert tip for this one is, yeah, share your values with people, but don't be too controversial. You don't want to scare them off before they even become customers. All right, at number two on our list is industry news. You all read industry news anyway, so you may as well take advantage of it. The, the way to do a blog post on this is to find an important industry news article, share a link in your blog post, and then write about why it's important and how it's going to affect your readers. Um, the expert tip here is don't rewrite the article, don't try and take credit for somebody else's article, but share the link and then tell people how it's going to affect them. This makes it seem like you really know what's going on in the industry and it positions you as um, an authority. And finally, at number one on our list is the frequently asked question. Chances are, if one of your clients asks you a question, your other clients have the same question, they just haven't asked you yet. So, when you get a question, and especially if you get a question multiple times, write the question at the top of a blog post and then answer it down below. That way you're giving your clients really useful information, you're going to keep them coming back, and they'll probably share it with their friends who they think might have a similar, a similar question. Uh, the expert tip for the frequently asked questions is um, if you're doing something in depth or if it's technical, cite your sources. This lets people know that you do your research and that you really know what you're talking about. And with these things, that's everything is building the trust. So these are five great ideas for blog posts. Just keep it simple, be consistent, and in no time you'll have a great blog with a community of loyal followers. Thanks for watching Two Cans TV. Again, I'm Kurt Abel, and I look forward to seeing you next time.